The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. The first report is saying that well, in all say. these things, well, you know, we are more than conquered. Even our enemies, they are aware. What do we do? Three things I will yeah, suggest. The first one, this generation of believers should rise from slumber. As I said, so I want to assume we are beautiful. You should fear them. We should rise from slumber. See, you should fear them. And be aware that there is battle to be fought for the Lord. Now, yema yenimra who say oku dahoma yena I say oku meura. Ephesians four forty. Ephesians five fourteen. Ephesians four forty. Ephesians five fourteen. Ephesians five fourteen. Ephesians five fourteen. Wake up, sleeper. Wa wada nyang. Rise from dead. Sorry for a womb. And Christ will rise, shine on you. Na Christo ba shrang amau. Be very careful. Ma weni mra onso. Then how you live. Not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity. Because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand the Lord's will. Do not be drunk on wine. Which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Wake up, sleeper. Men, wake up, men. Let us get involved in the battle. When we sleep, the devil will win. But when we rise, we will put him at where he belongs. The second thing that we need to do is to call upon the Lord. It is very important. The test for this conference says this. Ask me. And I will make the nations your inheritance. And the ends of the earth your possession. Ask me. But somehow we are not asking him. We are not praying that God should give us Ghana. We go to church and there is no prayer for the nation. We gather like this and there is no prayer for the nation. The forces that govern nations, they cannot stand the, the power of our God. You see, the real battle is spiritual. Sometimes you listen to David and Goliath. And you understand what I'm trying to say. In spite of the tallness and the bigness of Goliath, someone had to carry his shield. Someone carries his javelin. His height and his bigness scared the Israelites. But when this little David dared to challenge him, Goliath looked at him. And the Bible says that he cares him by his gorse. Mm. Mm. Now he is cursing him by his gorse. And then David also said, The God of Israel, whom you have defiled, and David Israel, he will hand you over to me today. And I will chop off your head. For the battle is a loss. So now you see that 
the men are just standing there physically, but the real battle is between the gods of Goliath and the god of David. David when we say God says ask me what he's trying to say is that cause me to arise Psalm 8 verse 1 say let the Lord arise and let his enemies be scattered let God arise and his enemy will scatter when he says ask me what he's trying to say is this bring me into the equation bring me into the equation we can take possession of this nation when we ask of the Lord he says ask of me so let us ask him to give this nation to us we are talking about corruption these days we have lost hope even in governance because now we don't know who to trust but you see, unless we bind the forces, we we'll never know who to trust. Let's ask the Lord. And He will give us the nations and the ends of the earth as our possession. One day the, the, the Moabites and the Ammonites rose against Israel. And some people reported it to Jehoshaphat the king. A vast army is coming against us. From the other side of the Dead Sea. The people of Judah came together to seek help from the Lord. When Judah and Jehoshaphat heard that the people were great and they were numerous and they, they had they had armory that they'd never had, they gathered together before the Lord. Ebra Judah they said, "A time for a ban was one according to your name. One to me one." Then Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah. In Jerusalem at the temple of the Lord in front of the new courtyard. And said, Lord, the God of our ancestors. Are you not the God who is in heaven? So, are you not the God who is in heaven? God, are you not? This is how we should pray. When we say, let God arise. Let us go to God. And shake him. And say, God, are you not? Are you not the God of the heavens? Let God arise. And let us cause his enemies to scatter. Don't let us go before God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Shake him. Are you not? Are you not? The God who is in heaven. You rule over the kingdom. Among of the nations. You rule over the kingdoms of the nations. Power and might. Too many are, are in your hands. And no one can withstand you. Oh God. Who is in heaven. Did you not. Drive out the inhabitants. Of this land. Before your people Israel. And give it forever to the descendants of Abraham your friend. Hmm. Verse 10. But now, here, here are men from Ammon and Moab. Whose territory you would not allow Israel to evade. 
Egypt. When they came from Egypt, so they turned away from them and they did not destroy them. Now look at verse 11. Are you here? Are you following me? Let's read verse 11 together. See how they are repaying us by coming to drive us out of the possession you gave us as inheritors. Now listen. Do you know that he says that I will give you the ends of the earth as your inheritance and as your possession? So these people, they have possession and they have inheritance. And the enemies want to deny them of the possession and the inheritance. When him say on your mea can say, Media Sasama Ba Mao, now the Baya wa Pejade. A yinamu kura asasia aya wan dea na aya wanga pejade and so. Then verse twelve. Chichamudu me. Oh our God. Oh nyan kopo. Will you not? So I, I like the will you not? Will you not judge them? So who more on a ten? For we have no power to face this vast army. If you say ye need to me, I am a kofuka see Beshia. That is attacking us. Ah, what a sorry at ye. We do not know what to do. Ye nimia ye yet. Our eyes now so are upon you. Ye need dows. We are not praying this kind of prayer. And yes, I'm praying here, born and All we are going to do next year is to pray for peace. Instead of praying for the nation, we are only praying for a peaceful election. The nations are to be claimed for our inheritance. We don't know what to do. But our eyes are upon you. When they prayed and they went to battle, who can tell me what really happened? Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. Yes, my brother, do you want to add anything? And no, no, no. Yes. Now, let me take. Okay. Uh huh. As they were going, the Lord had said to them, Sing praises to me. So as they sang along the way, the enemy destroyed themselves. Do you want to add anything? That these days we are not God conscious. And that we don't bring God into anything that we do. He says, Ask of me. And I will give the nations. And we are not, we are not asking God to give us this nation. Shall we rise? Mama, I'm sorry. Shall we lift up our hands now? Mama, I'm sorry. Let us ask God ready. to give us this nation, Ghana. On fire, man, Ghana, my. Let us ask him that our eyes are upon him. He should rescue this nation from evil hands. And from corruption. He should rescue this nation from corrupt rule. Thank 
If I'm sure, Monsieur Menim Catcher, Monsieur Menim Catcher, and Pibo Nibo Prayer is very expensive. Some people take it easy. You are mindless. And no, no, you can speak and yet your mind be far away. But yes, it's so bomb. Jesus says when you pray, praying, close the yeah, door. The the door. The door. As yeah. we were coming yeah. in somewhere, standing <laughs> outside, <laughs> making After phone calls. Phone, now, even when we come into the presence of God, even the cell phone is able to drive us out. The reverence is not no longer there. I want us to commit our heart and our mind into this one and Pastor. believe that we are pulling the forces down this morning. We are changing the destiny of this nation in this room. Upon the authority that God said we should ask Him. I want us to lift up our hands. God bless our homeland. Ghana and make our nation great and strong, bold to defend forever the cause of freedom and of right. The only line in this national anthem that is not supposed to stand now is and help us to resist oppressors' rule. The oppressors are long gone. Uh, but now we are oppressing our own self. And we now, but now we need to rise against corrupt rule. Hello. And this one, we can't do it by pointing fingers at this one and this one. It is a teaching in the spirit realm, teachings taught by demons. And they take hold of our mind. They affect all governance. Let us deal with them. Let us deal with these forces. This morning we are going to resist oppressors rule. Corrupt rule. May the Lord rise and give us this nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we hold the horns of the altar and we deal with the realms, the oppression of the realms. Our self imposed oppression. We hold it in check by the speakers of the blood. By the promises in the written code, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we claim victory for the nations. Makayan Dizi Kabaranda Zaya, Nikalando Zia Baboki Andata. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we take authority in the realms and we declare within our walls that let God arise and let the enemies be scattered. 
Makayam to see Kareanda Tai. Oh God, oh God, oh God. We join our hands together and we take authority in the word and we invoke the divinity and declare by the speakings of the talkings of the blood in the name of the Lord Jesus. We hold the realms, the nations, and we take authority over the nations. Oh, Spirit divine, the various faces of the nations. Makayanti adu anduki andata, mazuki andata. Because as soon as Zion traveled, Zion brought forth children. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Kana, 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 Malindu Azia Kabe, Razi Kantaya Basusti Andata. We redirect the direction of Ghana. We change the atmosphere of the nation. We change the patterns of the nation. We change the patterns of the nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus, by the pockets of our rock, God on our side. We change the patterns. We change the patterns. We change the patterns. We change the patterns. Let light be superimposed over darkness. Let light appear in the mighty name of Jesus. Mataya Kabandosia, Rapan Korean Desire Basinia, Ayan Karosi Andata. Let God arise. Let God arise. As God arise. We arise in pursuit. I will claim the victory for the nations. Makayam desire tata. Ikalose yankayababa. As soon as Zion travel, she brought forth children. We produce our own for the various organs of government. We touch the judiciary. We touch the legislature. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we touch the executive. We redirect. We redirect. We give a new focus by the speakings of the blood in the name of the Lord Jesus. Makayanda Saya Basustia, Ikandolianda Saya Basundia, Michaelose Yanda Taya Baba, Nikelesi Yanda Let God arise and let the enemies be scattered. In the name of Jesus, as we lift our hands, we are touching the forces that rule the land. We are dethroning thrones. We are changing kingdoms. And we are giving a new direction to our nation. And as we speak, begin to pray. Begin to shun the Kanda and Pakaya. Zukabez Yandata. Yanda Kaisurianda. We touch the forces. We touch the authorities. We touch the thrones, the realms we enter, and we dare the realms by the speakings of the blood. Makayanda Taya, Rikalosi Andata, Mazuki Anda. We get a new rising of the army, a new rising of an army that will change the horizon. We touch the political realm, we touch the governors, we touch every facet of the nation. We touch the chieftaincy. We touch the priesthood. We touch every area by the speakings of the blood. We touch the realms by holding on the thrones of Kavari. Makayanda Sai Kabe. No Kiandata. Zukabe Karandaza. Yekalo Sayandata. Kana Kana. Kana. Not as it's going, but as our God wills. We give a new focus. A branding to Ghana, a new name, a new activity. Makaresi andata, Rakayasi andata. Let God arise, let God arise, let God arise, and the enemies be scattered. In the mighty name of Jesus, Makarando andata, Makarosi andata, Yekalosi andata. We deal with the red. We deal with the thrones. We deal with the powers. We dethrone thrones. We touch the kingdoms. We declare. We declare. We declare a new directionality for the nation. Masika Rosiandata. In the spirit we possess for its manifestation. We possess. We possess. 
We possess. We possess. We possess. We possess. We possess. Kana. 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 Makayandata. A change of focus. A change of direction. We touch the priesthood. We turn the chieftains. We turn the faces by the speakings of the blood. Makaranda Zaya. Sika Lozi Andata. Makarosi Akayeba. No Lipazi Anda. Nakalanda Zaya Kayenda. Rabando Ziandata. Oh, our rock. Oh, our rock. Against those rocks. We dethrone them in the name of the Lord Jesus. My Karanda Zaya. Kaberi Andata. Yankarosi Andata. Stand up. Stand up for Jesus. Ye soldiers of the cross. Sing it as you believe. Lift high his rock. Now listen, this kind of things, they are a threat to our young democracy. And the Christian's response to threats is prayer. When they threatened Peter and John not to speak in the name of Jesus again, they went to their own company and they said, Oh God, stretch off your hands. God, stretch forth your hands. God, stretch forth your hands. Stretch forth your hands, Lord. 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 As far as Ghana is concerned, we are here in the name of the Lord. We make a declaration to the nation, to the prophet of the public parties. Makayan data Rakapando si kayesia in kandosi andata with an outstretched arm of the law. Ye karosi ankaya. Let there be a shaking of the nation. Let there be a shaking of the strongholds. Let there be a shaking of their covers. People who are in training, we shake their strength. We shake their powers. We shake their origin. By the power of the Holy Ghost, all oh spirit divine, we declare over the wicked acts, we declare against bloodshed, we declare against fighting spirit, we arise and declare no more, 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 in the name of the Lord Jesus, Makayanda Tayazata. We make a declaration today and heaven will respond. Heaven will respond. Heaven will respond as we make it from the earth. I am the Kaya. Zaika Pando Ziandata. Rakai Dano Ziandata. Oh, we salvage Ghana. We save Ghana from destruction. We save Ghana. We salvage Ghana from wicked acts from demonic oppression from demonic incantation we salvage the nation makayandata rabando ziandata oh jesus my karandaza ikaro zianda my karabando zi in the name of the lord in the name of the lord we raise intercession to salvage the nation from the throes of political enemies from the throes of enemies of the nation by the speakings of the blood makind that the voice of intercession can rule the nation so we change and give a direction by the power of the holy ghost the frontiers of the nation we salvage from bloodshed 
from the spill of a blood oh jesus the christ jesus the christ today we live the nation we live the nation we live the nation we live the nation we lift the nation we lift the nation we lift the nation we lift ghana we lift ghana and africa by extension oh jesus christ that who answered prayer prayer answering god hacking onto our voice 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 makandata rabai karos nakai barus nekando saya rabai kapandos daika dai turiandata naika besianda rabandosi kaye barosa shanka berianda naika lesa yanda only by zoyandata our great god and master our commander the owner of the nations as we pray you give and we stand here in the name of the lord with our outstretched arm father the nations ghana 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 we salvage ghana from the throats of wicked people we salvage ghana from the interest of few people who milk and spill blood we declare over the walls we declare over the frontiers that god arise jehovah arise and let the enemies be scattered oh our rock oh our rock oh our rock we dethrone thrones we remove kings we declare let your will be done let your will be done let your will be done we pray over the priesthood we pray over the churches we pray over god those who have masqueraded those who have branded themselves to make little of the pure gospel as the believers pray we lift our hands and say let there be a shaking let there be a shaking let the heavens arise let there be a shaking right in the mountains right in the mountains over the executive over the judiciary over the legislature the departmental heads all spirit of the law corruption in high places and in low places we deal with it we stand with the voice of prophecy and declare Ghana return to the ways of the law Ghana come back to the ways of the law Ghana come back to the ways of the law God let it be said that you have visited this nation in a new way we thank you for an answered prayer can we shout a victorious amen want us to have faith in the prayer that we have prayed. To the extent that when you wake up in the morning, bless the nation Ghana. Don't curse it. Don't, don't curse the country. Ever. Bless the nation Ghana. The last point is that men should arise and take up their calling. Men should arise and take up their calling. We have been called as men, as husbands. Being a husband is a call. Being a father is a call. There are two kinds of calling. The domestic call and the public call. It isn't only the ministers 
who are in the fat fivefold ministry that are called. All of us are called. Two kinds of calling. Domestic call. Public call. The domestic call. You should know that you are called to be a husband. And called to be a father. You should, you should marry as somebody who is called to be a husband. And you must lead the house and parent your children as somebody who is called to be a father. You should see your home as a church and a seminary. Your home should be a church and a seminary. Anyone who is born into the home or who is living with you, go beyond the nuclear family. Anyone who is in the home where you are the father or the husband. Anyone who is who is in the house. You must make sure that the person is born again. Because your home is a church. If it is a church, you are the pastor. And your wife is the assistant minister. It is you, the husband, pastor, father's responsibility. To carry the family to church. When they come back, examine whether the all that they heard in church has been properly assimilated. If there are gaps, fill them. Let your home be a seminary. Where there is spiritual formation. I want my Bible in your children, your children, your wife. That is the domestic call. And only fear, friend. Your home, if you should be a church, to say I'm sorry, and a seminary. Now, hey, I'm sorry. You are, Bible, the, you are the pastor, when they also for and your wife is the assistant pastor. Now, we're here in the sophomore. The two of you, mobile, no, no, should make your home a church. Sorry, and a spiritual formation center. And who, 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 to tip beer. You get what I'm saying. Mm. Then the public calling. Everything you do. See your employment. Or your occupation. As a call. So some of us are called to be teachers. You are called to be a lawyer. You are called to be a nurse. So whatever you are doing, see it as a call. Endeavor to be the best teacher or the best lawyer. Do the law. And let people know that you are a Christian. See it as a call. The call to be a lawyer. The call to be a farmer. The call to be a businessman. So when you get to the to the borders and the customs officers are there, don't give them money. And take your words away. At the expense of the nation. No, you are called to be a businessman. Do it as doing it unto the Lord. Let me end with Colossians 3 from verse 19. Husbands. Love your wives. And do not be harsh on them. So men get home and their children are scared. Hey, 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 hey. The children scatter. Your wife is afraid. Don't be harsh. Don't be harsh. Say, hey, 
When we close and we're going home. I'm not a chairman in the house. I'm not a chairman over my wife. Apostle it's the apostle authority is not in the house. I have two girls. The first one came after four boys. So I love her specially. Now she's old. Or secondary school. She's in secondary like school. Like 17 years. Where do you feel doing song? But say, when she comes home from school, I say, Miss Sonima. And I hold her. And, no, then, mama, two man. and there's a song I used to sing for her. And yeah, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> chair, man, uh -huh. Where me, ba? That's the song I sing for her. This you has nothing you to do with being a chairman. Mm -mm, mm -mm, when you come and meet us doing this, I say, chairman, where your chairman, sir? Don't stand back and say, look this at is, what the chairman is. It has nothing to do with it being a chairman. Home. It is my own. Uh, tomorrow, some man will come and take care of I have to love her and train her. And I have to love her and train her. I have to love her and train her. And that's the song for the last girl. You have to be a pastor. As I said, we are suffering. And your wife. The assistant pastor. Now you don't see a soft boy. In the year, we are no man who much is more bumpy. So you wake them don't, up don't early answer. in the morning to pray. The year, any more a soft Uma or any no man is born more bumpy. In the evening, do you gather them and pray with them? If you don't fill their minds, the devil will fill it. If you don't fill your home, the devil will fill your home with something. So one fat nepa and show few more, but Colossians three. Colossians for humanity be a son. Now look at this one. Verse 19. When you go home, you whose children are scared of you, gather your children and tell them, today I have repented. Hey, Jai. Hey, 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 Jai. I, I, I have stopped all the, the Bible says, ranting. Teach them, hey, hey, hey. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with your wife. Verse 20. Children, obey your parents in everything for this pleases God. So if you are still under parental rule, obey them. The next verse, please. Fathers, do not embitter your children or they will become discouraged. Next verse. Slaves, if you are working under someone, obey your earthly masters in everything. Do it not only when their eyes is on you, when you are learning to be a fitter, don't oh, under invoice. Oh, if you are working for someone, do not steal his working to, uh, uh, equipment. Me, me and are normal. Not only when their eyes are on you, and your brother, what will soon to win their favor? But with sincerity of heart and reverence for the Lord. And then the last one, 23. Now look at it and let us read together. Ready, go. Whatever you do, hold it. I'm sure everybody is doing something. But whatever you do, let's continue. Work at it with all your at, as working for the Lord. Not for me. We have not finished. The last one, 24. 
Since you know that if you say you receive an inheritance from the Lord as your reward. Let's read the last sentence. Ready, go. It, it is, is the Lord Christ you are serving. A ready Christo and a Muslim. It is a way you are a banker. So if when you work in the bank, if you work in the bank, it is the Lord Jesus Christ you are. Sin. It is not for Ghana you are working for. You are working for the Jesus Christ. So God somewhere. bless us all. I'm praying that you receive something from what I've just shared. And as you go home, I'm expecting mighty and great things from you. The Lord be with all of us.